Hi there, this is John with Tempered Networks, and today we're going to go through a simple deployment example of identity-defined networking. Our IDN fabric represents an evolution beyond traditional address-defined networking, towards a trusted network architecture based on cryptographic identities, which solves many challenges that today's IP architecture simply cannot solve. For this example, we're simplifying a very complex environment just to make it easier to show how our technology works. Here we're connecting two devices, device A and device B. Device A is in a remote location, and device B is located on premise at headquarters, and they are connecting back over a shared network infrastructure. Similar to Google's initiative Beyond Corp, we also tend to take the basic view that any network we're going over is essentially unsecure. The first important point is that unlike traditional IP networking and SDN approaches, the IDN fabric is forward and backwards compatible, so it's non-disruptive and can be deployed on top of any IP network, with minimal changes to underlining infrastructure. This allows organizations to evolve without disruption while taking a phased approach to transforming your network. The goal is to remove complexity from the network, not adding to it, and we do that with an approach that is both simple and elegant in its power. The IDM fabric itself is made up of two components, the conductor, which provides centralized control of the fabric, and HIP services that are deployed together with any resource you are protecting and function as identity enforcement endpoints. Taking a closer look at HIP services, they are software products that support physical or virtual appliances, cloud environments, software installed directly on a client or server, or can be embedded in a custom application or hardware. For example, our HIP switches often replace cellular modems for equipment in remote locations for our customers. Our objective here is to create a unified and flexible identity defined fabric that can span all environments and connectivity mediums, even layer two and layer three, resulting in a simpler and more flexible secure networking model. The last thing our customers want is to have separate networking and security policies and technologies across on-premise, cloud, IoT, and on and on, which adds even more complexity to an already complex infrastructure. For the conductor, this is the orchestration engine and the intelligence behind the IDN fabric. It was designed with manageability first mindset, making it incredibly easy to manage your network even when scaling to thousands of devices. And it's available as a physical appliance, as a virtual deployment, or in the cloud. Going back to our diagram, let's walk through how we establish encrypted communications that becomes the fabric. Step one, device A and B connect via TCP IP to our physical hardware in this example. For something like our client software, the cryptographic identity would simply be bound to the host device. Step two is the conductor authenticates and authorizes the HIP services via their provable host identities, and then whitelist both HIP switches to communicate with each other. And step three, after being whitelisted for communication, the HIP services build a tunnel between them for encrypted communications. A couple things that are important to note is that no traffic passes through the conductor. It merely defines policy for HIP services. It can go offline and all HIP services will continue to function as normal. And with HIP services, they can protect devices in a one-to-one -one or one-to-many deployment. It just depends on throughput. This has been a quick overview of the foundational components of an identity-defined networking fabric. We believe that making provable identity native to all network things is the cornerstone of unifying and simplifying networking and security. And we're really excited to be bringing this technology to our customers, helping them solve problems they've been struggling with for years, with no easy solution at hand. Now organizations can easily build flexible and secure networks that are cost-effective to manage, making it easier than ever before to get the right devices and individuals access to the right resources. Thanks for watching. And please reach out to us for a demo if you found this interesting.